It's been five months since doctors took the man's baby off medications. Machines alone are what sustain the baby now. The father constantly worries about whether his baby is in pain. Does it endure suffering as much as he does? Undoubtedly, the baby's quality of life has greatly gone down, and so has his own. He is no longer employed, and the intensive care unit becomes his home. At first, he refused to believe what doctors suggested since they should have told him that his baby wouldn't recover after the accident. As time goes by, the man is now becoming more open to euthanasia and is beginning to seriously weigh the opposing points of view. Supporters of euthanasia believe that it is a way to painlessly end the suffering of those with an incurable disease or in a coma that cannot be reversed. Patients contemplating euthanasia are often in immense pain. Typically, they will take massive doses of medicine in an attempt to ease the physical and mental suffering. This period of time when they're taking medications can be torture and agony because they must rely heavily on other people's help with eating, using the bathroom, and bathing. Meanwhile, their family members, who witness their loved ones in unimaginable pain, have a feeling of uncertainty and suffer from anxiety as well. Many terminally ill patients may think of themselves as a burden to their family. As a result, Euthanasia is regarded as a painkiller that ends the unbearable suffering that both sides are experiencing.
Furthermore, euthanasia supporters also state the fact that terminally ill patients and those in a coma use up considerable resources. They may potentially spend months, years, or even decades in hospitals and healthcare facilities, requiring medical funding, highly skilled staff, medications, equipment, and beds. Therefore, permitting euthanasia would free up valuable medical resources. Opponents of euthanasia, on the other hand, believe that it has many disadvantages. From their points of view, legalizing euthanasia seems to violate ethical principles. They point out that it would give doctors too much power, which puts a strain on the doctor-patient relationship and corrupts a physician's role as a healer. For example, doctors might extend euthanasia to curable patients in order to save valuable time and money. Additionally, opponents are worried that euthanasia may make doctors avoid their responsibility for providing care for their patients. Believing in the importance of compassionately taking care of others and the preciousness of human life, opponents of euthanasia argued that the only solution to such a difficult situation is to care for the terminally ill for as long as they live. Last but not least, another argument against euthanasia is that, for many people, the life of a human being is considered sacred. In the majority of religions, ending a life is viewed as one of the greatest sins against God. They believe that God's plan should be carried out without interference from doctors. Euthanasia has long been a debated issue and a tough decision for individuals and families. Imagine that you are the parent of the baby mentioned in the first paragraph.
Your baby's life is dependent on machines, and you love it with all your heart. What would be your decision?